Now, in this particular video, we will cover the single instance management. As in the previous two instance management techniques, the session was getting destroyed either in all the requests or for a particular session. But single will ensure that for all the sessions, means doesn't matter how many users are there, a single instance of the service will be responding to all the users. That is, it is something called a shared mode. And after every request, it will not be destroyed. So as you can see, new instance of service is created once for all the sessions. Means it is independent of any particular sessions. As soon as the first request by any particular session will be made, it will be created and then after, it will keep responding to all the users. And it will not be terminated automatically unless something like timeout or the abnormal termination of the service takes place. So it will be created once and it will be there in the memory of the server till it is running. So let's see a practical implementation where we are going to implement the single instance management. So in this mode, what I'm going to do is I'll simply set the context mode to single and from the app.config, I have removed all the things related to this session. It is as simple app.config as it was earlier. So all the changes have been made. No session references have been taken. So let's start the server. And whatever the changes you have made, after making that, you'll have to build the uh, solution of the server. And then you'll have to update the references out here in the client. So let's do that. And now when you will start this and when I click here, I'll get the numbers. If you will open different number of sessions and with different number of clients using this particular service, you will see all will be continuing with this particular number. All right, because there is single instance to check it. I have closed this particular uh, client and when I'll reopen it and I'll click here. So you see, it is continuing from that particular number. All right. So this is how you can start working with the single instance context mode in WCF.